positive experience there. I know she's overdue for rabies because back into a gym workout routine, I just feel like I'm... We're making like a little veggie sushi kind of situation. Do you want something? Oh, I guess cucumber. Okay, but you got to howl. 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 Oh. Oh. Like long. Like this. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. But that's good enough because you're spoiled. Sushi things as a snack with rice. They're kind of small, but... Hello, so cute. We'll eat them together. And this is the sauce I like to use mixed with a little bit of soy sauce. Can you lay down? Down? Down. Good. You're scary. Okay. Little snack. Mhm. Mm I feel like you would think that the apple would taste weird in there. I'm just trying to situate my hair. Okay. Um, also, I took your advice and. I thin my eyebrows out even more, and honestly, I really like it. I saw this girl make a recipe similar to this, but I just added rice because I don't understand how, like, she was just doing the veggies, and I feel like like how would the seaweed stick well? I feel like, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm at work right now. <laughs> this is a hand drill. These are all like the little drill things. Yeah, I hand drill everything, but I also have an electric hand drill. This is just like I use the hand drill for like more delicate pieces. This is the state of my desk right now, or part of it. I like it. It's kind of just like, it's art, you know? It's like the art within the art, the art from the art. I don't know. My dog has been sick. He can't open his two eyes. We think it's like an allergy related thing. So he's going to the vet today. I've just been stressed about it. We're gonna go to the vet in like 40 minutes. So I just been working because there's literally nothing I can do. Um, yeah, I'm fucking stressed out about it, but it's fine. My skin's freaking out. Hey, he's happy though. You guys, I asked my man to film, and this is the footage he got. I don't even know, but this is my dog directly after surgery. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I don't know what else to say, but he's very drowsy at this point. He's okay. I touch base on it a little bit more in the video. Don't know why my man chose this angle. And then this is him the next morning, sleeping, happy. And then hours later, I got ice cream. This is pistachio and blueberry cobbler. Okay. I'm wearing concealer. So, like, I'm wearing concealer that's, like, not my shade. So, anyways. Right now, we're going to vent. We're going to chat. We're going to have a little rant session. Girls. Girls, girls, girls. We're going to do a lip combo. Um, I have Aquaphor on my lips right now. This is my new favorite lip combo. Okay, 
It's literally just the Wet n Wild lip liner in chestnut. Look how big it is. Oops. It's so big. I hate lip liners that you can't sharpen because I feel like most of the packaging is just packaging, if that makes sense. Like this packaging is just the entire product. Does that make sense? But if you were, if it were like retractable, like you had to go like that, it's like barely any product. Anyways. So yeah, if I look a little pale in my face, I go like all around. Like, I feel like your lips look juicier and better. I think it depends on your lip shape, obviously. But my lip shape looks a lot better when I go like all around. I know sometimes people just go here or like here, you know what I mean? And I do it messily first. Like that. It's honestly it says chestnut and it it's coming like more maroon. So I would like to get like a true brown, but they just only had this. I'm like really specific with products but i also don't want to spend 30 dollars on one single product that's this size because that's just stupid okay anyways we're gonna blend and then if you have i go like that so i don't cover up my like cupid's bow i think it's prettier when you don't i think cupid's bows are really cute and like feminine and beautiful and i know i don't have like a super prominent one but it's there a little bit i'm sorry this is messy If anything, I like to accentuate the cupid's bow. Like that. Okay. And then I'm gonna go back in, and then this is the Essence What a Tint Lip and Cheek Tint. It's like the dupe for the Benefit. I actually really love the Benefit, the Benetint one, but I'm not paying $30 for a product that's little. I think that. They're good products, they really are, especially like the tints and stuff, but you need to be serious at some point in your fucking like career. Like, I know there are a lot of people paying $30 and if, I don't know, $30 for something that's this little, go fuck yourself. Sorry, but you should go fuck yourself. It's little, it's not even like handmade, it's made in a factory, it's little. Is this handmade? No. Is this handmade? I really didn't think so. So why is it the price that it is for little, 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 little? You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's not even like the rant that was meant to be had. I kind of just like wait for it to dry, but this is like a really good dupe, okay? So just buy this if you don't want to spend the money on. It makes me angry when really good products are really tiny like the milk makeup products are really tiny for a really big price i don't know like it's like i do get it at some point because like the company has to make money but at what point is your company trifling at what point is your company just dumb or maybe they're smart because people are buying like for that price otherwise they wouldn't Okay, this is just me thinking out loud. I could have a quarter million on me right now. And then I just like, again, my acne, don't please. Unless you have recommendations on acne. It's like fungal right now. Anyways. I just saw a yellow butterfly. And then you kind of... You know what I mean? Like make it a little bit, um, makes sense. Okay. And sometimes I darken, only sometimes though I like darken the corners. So it's not that dark. Okay. I also just love the feeling of like a new, do you know what I'm saying? Like so like tall and like, Okay, and then just Aquaphor, or I'll do like a lip gloss, but I kind of just want Aquaphor right now. Okay, let's get into it, girls. Okay, so I'm going to read you the tweet that I tweeted. 
on my iPad. I screenshotted it so we can talk about it, okay? And I'm gonna talk about, we're just gonna talk, we're gonna dissect it together a little bit because people on the internet are pissing me off. And the internet is very different. Like YouTube internet is really different from Twitter internet. Twitter, 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 oh my God. Internet is really different from Instagram internet, TikTok internet. It's just very different people even though they all have the same apps i don't really know how it works okay i didn't i didn't reply to anybody on twitter about this because i didn't want to give those fucking loser freaks the satisfaction of me trying to anyways sorry i got a call i didn't want to give the people on twitter the satisfaction of me explaining myself or me even being irritated at it because that's like kind of what they want so i'm talking about it with my youtube and my youtube girls and my friends on youtube because i feel like you guys would just get it better and you guys get me better and okay. let's read the tweet together just found out what maladaptive daydreaming is and i thought everyone just did that i thought that was literally just called thinking just found out it's not normal to do thanks and then the following up tweet that i said is i won't be stopping because it's fun and I can't stop, but I wouldn't want to even if I could because, damn, am I maladaptive daydreaming or is it called nurturing my inner child and having childlike wonder and imagination? Thank you. That tweet got over 6.5 million views. So obviously, it got a lot of reposts and quotes and dumbasses in my comments. Okay. I didn't respond to anybody. Okay. Let's look up. A definition of maladaptive daydreaming definition so we can really further understand before we start talking about it okay <sighs> maladaptive daydreaming is a behavior where a person spends an excessive amount of time daydreaming often becoming immersed in their imagination this behavior is usually a coping mechanism in people who have mental health conditions like anxiety for some people, this behavior disrupts work, hobbies, friendships, and relationships. Okay. Yes, I do maladaptive daydream. And I see and I experience why that could be negative. A lot of people are saying that I don't maladaptive daydream because I don't speak badly of it and it's only maladaptive daydreaming if it affects your life badly and I would have to disagree because it does disrupt like the definition says my day my sleep um, I think it's also what launched me into some astral realms and stuff but that's not what this rant is about and I also am clinically diagnosed with anxiety, okay? And I'm so irritated because, and I also have like a terrible childhood, okay? Abusive mom, I'm not gonna get into it. She's dead now, thank God. I don't care, okay? If you're gonna abuse your kids, you deserve to die. Oh, is that controversial? Then you should die too. I don't care, like what are you talking about? I don't like, I understand that self-diagnosing can be harmful and whatever, I get that. You can't accuse a stranger, somebody that you don't know of self-diagnosing because you simply don't know them, right? So if I'm like over here talking about depression and anxiety and this is how it makes me feel. This is what I do when I get depressed and anxious, da 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 da. And some girl comes up or some person comes up and they're like, well, like, what are your credentials? Do you even have fucking anxiety to be talking about it? Like, what are your credentials? Like, fuck, bitch. Like, do you want me to literally just. It's a tweet! Tweet. Should I have tweeted about maladaptive daydreaming and then in the bottom section of my tweet or in my bio put. Here are my credentials so everybody on Twitter can feel better about themselves. I have anxiety. I have this. Here are all my medical records. I've been to a psych ward. Um, this is the psych ward that I've been to. This is where my mom has hit me. 
this is that 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 do you understand why it's irritating like yeah nobody's gonna have their credentials their online credentials whatever the fuck like saying that they have all these mental illnesses and this is why they're like this like people can actually just talk about stuff and not have to prove anything to you like it's literally driving me up a wall because i muted it the second something goes viral on twitter specifically i mute it i mute the conversation so i don't see people's fuck assery i don't know like just dumbassness i don't care because it's twitter and like if you if you come online arguing arguing with strangers every single day whether you are in the right or whether you are in the wrong it's not healthy for you um every once in a while sure like i follow accounts and like i know friends that argue with strangers put them in their place like yeah sometimes a stranger needs to get put in their place but a lot of the time if, you're, if it's something that you're doing every day and it's like your entire content then like you have an issue whether you're right or you're wrong like you have a problem and it's not like you should not be online that much like i'm not gonna argue about fucking maladaptive daydreaming and like my mental illnesses and like the things that i have that's wrong with me or whatever like with people online i'm just venting to you guys um because i can't vent to like twitter because they don't get it um and also it's just like people are saying that like i don't know what i'm talking about because i don't have like my credentials listed like i just said and it's just like yeah like somebody was like yeah usually people maladaptive daydream because they are trying to cope with like their really bad childhood and stuff and it's like should i have to like they weren't doing it to inform me because they they said mean stuff after that so like should i have to tell everybody like 5.2 million people or whoever saw that tweet that like my mom used to like beat me and my sister every single day steal money from us when we had jobs like literally would not let us hang out with friends um would push us outside in towels as children outside 7 p.m lock the house like we were in towels basically naked we did something that pissed her off or whatever and she pushed us this is a true story should i have to say that online no okay and the reason why i'm so numb right now is because i'm 27 almost 28 and this she died when i was 13. i'm not it's just really irritating like should i have to tell you tell everyone on twitter that like maybe that's why i maladaptive daydream but also it's irritating because they're coming from my fucking neck right now because i talked highly and positively about maladaptive daydreaming about how i get a lot of creative ideas from it ideas in general about how I like solve my own problems and like therapize myself basically uh and whatever or I like self-reflect like a lot of maladaptive daydreaming they're not necessarily the same thing fucking duh I'm sweating but it can like mesh I'm getting so aggressive because like the people are just the replies were just pissing me off like how fucking like why would somebody put in their bio all that stuff just so you can like you want me to put all my credentials and explain to every like 5.2 million people how i have all these mental illnesses and how like why i maladaptive daydream and like you want me to prove that i maladaptive daydream and da 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 and then i'm like a child of abuse and like shit like that you want me to put that in my bio that's how crazy like i just want to act crazy right now because I need to go turn my AC on. Just because, okay, maladaptive daydreaming used to be very negative to me and sometimes it still is because I can just do it for hours. That's the whole fucking definition. You can just do it for hours and not do anything else basically. And you have like all these characters and like I do it to fall asleep sometimes too. Like you can do it for so many things. Like if you know, you know, but also like they're coming for me because i'm not saying that it ruins my life okay so what if i told you that some people with issues or mental illnesses like try their best not to let it ruin their life like what if i told you that there are people out there this is like how i want to talk to them and how i want to say things to them i'm not talking to you 
condescendingly it's like t the tone is towards those idiots okay we're just venting like i love you we're just venting i could spend maladaptive daydreaming can really easily waste my time and ruin my life but i don't let it some people are better at coping with other like with th their trauma than other people and that doesn't mean one person is better than the other or like whatever it's just everybody's grief and healing is so different which is the whole fucking point you know what i'm saying like the whole fucking point is that like just because you think that your maladaptive daydreaming is ruining your life or just because it is ruining your life doesn't mean it's ruining mine because it did for a while but now it doesn't because i've learned to like use it to my advantage and it's not me using it to my advantage all the time sometimes i'll go like a literal entire fucking day or even like a couple weeks that turn into depression and that's how it starts i maladaptive daydream all day and do nothing but it's like should i have to tell the internet that or can i just speak about something and just speak about it like why is everybody needing like so many fucking credentials like i'm not i'm not saying that like i'm a doctor and you should take this pill and this pill and this pill and this pill and this medication like i'm not giving you fucking medical advice okay i'm just saying what i do and like what i have or something it's about me it's about me it's all about me 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 it's about me like when i'm talking about stuff like that herbalism even it's about me it's about my body i'm just relaying the information and like for a while i didn't know that maladaptive daydreaming exists i just did it like i just i genuinely because a lot of people are getting on my ass too because they think that like because I said maladaptive daydreaming, like I thought it was just like thinking, like I thought it was the same thing. Do you not see why that was my fucking problem? Do you understand what I'm saying? Like people are saying like, you stupid fuck, like you dumb bitch basically. Like it's not the same thing as thinking. Are you stupid? Like no, but you are. Why the fuck? Do you think that I, I thought it was the same thing. That's my problem. I look crazy right now. I thought it was the same thing. I thought it was normal for a long time, okay? This is how I want to talk to them so bad. I thought it was normal. I thought maladaptive daydreaming was the same thing as thinking for the longest time. Just like I thought for the longest time when I was a child, anxiety was just me being shy. And then I grew up and I learned the word anxiety and then I got diagnosed for it. And then da 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 da. So that's what, exactly what happened with maladaptive daydreaming. So I've done it my entire life and I just thought that it was thinking, but it's not. That's the whole point of the goddamn fucking fuck, 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 fuck tweet. Thank you for listening to me then because I'm not like a negative person, but I just come on here to vent to you guys because I feel like we're besties, but also like I'm not giving these bitches the satisfaction of me maybe, maybe they follow me i don't think no like most of the people that are they don't like they're not my followers they're not my like my people you know what i mean they're like strangers so anyways stop telling people within reason that like they're self-diagnosing unless they say that they're self-diagnosing obviously i don't think now learning about maladaptive daydreaming that thinking and maladaptive daydreaming is the same thing the issue, I don't understand why people are like, you're stupid. Like, it's not the same thing as thinking. People kill themselves over this. Like, I'm going to kill myself right now. And I can joke about it because I, I did try to do it. And my mom did it. That's my credentials. So you want to get crazy? We can get crazy. Any more credentials you want? Mama tried to kill herself and then I did. Um, yeah, we should not be forcing these things out of people. I can handle it because it's just been a while. It's been a long time. It's traumatic, but it's been a long time. I was like in my teens, whatever, okay? Which is why I can talk about it so freely and whatever. But I'm just saying that like some people, rightfully so, by the way, can't handle it. and they can speak about things like maladaptive daydreaming or even suicide if they went through it without telling you that they went through it like 
maybe I'm the crazy one. Like these people want you to trauma dump on them while simultaneously, cause that's what I just did to you. Me sharing my credentials with you for talk, like so I can speak about, so I can be allowed and have permission to speak about suicide or to speak about maladaptive daydreaming or depression or anxiety, me giving you my credentials, fuck, I hate that, to speak about those things is trauma dumping, no? And it's also just none of your business. I can speak about being depressed without telling you guys that I'm depressed or that I suffer from anxiety or depression. Like, I don't think that that's like weird. I think that you're weird. Like, why do you need the credentials? And if some, I don't know, it's just weird. Cause it's not credentials, it's like proving, I refuse to prove things like that to people online, like online, because it's kind of like, it's really similar to first, okay, for example, there's like a girl and she's half black and she's half white, right? But she looks more white, let's say, okay? And, but she looks like, whatever so she looks more white but she's still half black half white woman okay the internet will always make you prove your race and i just refuse to do that i'm telling you my race and my ethnicity or whatever and that's all you're gonna get you're not gonna get pictures of my parents just so you can like be satisfied and then just go about your day like what does that do and this is the issue is that like white people, this is like such like a different rant, but it's just an example. And the reason why that's an issue is because so many white people are trying to look like not white, you know? And so that's why I think that people get confused. But even if you are confused on someone's race, ask, that's fine. Like, what's your, what's, what's your ethnicity? You're so pretty, you're so unique or whatever. That's fine. But to say, I don't believe you, prove it. Do you have half a brain? Honestly, or are you a child? If you're a child and you're under the age of 18, fine. I was stupid once too, when I was a child. We all were because our brains were not fully developed. I will give you a pass. But if you're over the age of 23 and up, fuck you, grow up. And second of all, it just doesn't matter that much. Like, does it really matter what race I am? No. Does it really matter what race that girl is? Does it really matter that her dad's black and her dad's, like her dad's black and her mom's white? No, you just want it to like feel satisfaction for one second and then you're gonna scroll away from the TikTok or like you're gonna like exit. So it's like all that for one second of stranger satisfaction. And why the fuck would I give a shit about stranger satisfaction? Why would I care about that? You know what I'm saying? And it's different because even though you guys, you guys, my subscribers and my friends and stuff, like the people that follow me and follow my journey and listen to my words and whatever, and interact with me i'm not talking about you guys you know because even though you are strangers you watch i don't know how to say this even though you are strangers as subscribers you still watch my videos and like kind of know my personality more than like a stranger that just found me off of twitter and like hasn't followed along with my content or like my words or do you know what i'm saying so even though we are technically strangers we're closer strangers i don't know does that make sense like we're friends i also understand that like self diag there's like two two sides like self-diagnosing at, at a certain point can be harmful i'm not like dismissing that but sometimes sometimes you don't know if people are self-diagnosing unless they say sometimes i'm talking about stuff because I've been there and I know like, and I know there are people that talk about stuff that they don't know about and they haven't been through. That's one thing, that's not me. And I know that pe other people wouldn't know that it's not me. I'm just overthinking now, but 
I don't, nobody has to like have their credentials anywhere. Like, hey guys, just saying like, I'm depressed, here are all my medical records. So now that I am allowed to talk about depression, here's what I think about it. Like nobody should have to do that. You're like making people trauma dump on you while simultaneously saying like, whoa, I hate when people trauma dump on me online. No, ew, like shut the fuck up then. Like either take the information or scroll away. Hopefully I didn't sound like super crazy. Wait, okay, also I'm almost done with this topic and we'll move on. I wanted to say that people were like coming for my fucking neck basically because I wasn't like saying that maladaptive daydreaming ruined my entire life. Like they were so like furious that I was like positive about it. Um, which I don't understand because like I get it, it can be negative and it is, but it's like, am I supposed to like say sorry that it's not ruining my life? Am I supposed to say sorry that like I'm trying my best every single day to like better my mental illnesses and mental things? Am I supposed to say sorry for not being negative about maladaptive daydreaming or whatever? Am I supposed to like apologize to you? Cause I'm not sorry and I hope you're upset about it because like like, they're so mad that I'm not speaking negatively about maladaptive daydreaming. They're so mad. And it's like, I don't know, like with my life, it just, it worked. I don't really have a choice, but I made it work. Like I'm a creative and maladaptive daydreaming. I think we can all see the correlation between daydreaming even though it, if it's maladaptive or normal daydreaming, the correlation between that and creativity, like maybe if I worked like an office job, that's what nuance, duh. Maybe if I worked like an office job, then it would make me wanna like, you know, but I don't, it is what it is. My life is what it is. So I'm not gonna say like, well, maybe if I did this, maybe if I worked here, maybe if I like, I don't care about the maybes, like what is it now? Like, what is my life now? What is your life now? It is what it is is not always negative like it no it literally is what the fuck it is like it's just what it is like this is a lip stain it is what it is this is a lip liner it is what it is is it an eyebrow pencil okay it can be but it's not it's a lip liner it is what it is it can't like change morph form into anything else because it is what the fuck it is do you not understand what i'm saying god i wish i could just post this to twitter it's my dog i'll do an update on him in a second um i do have negative outcomes or like negative things happen i guess when i'm maladaptive daydreaming but because i'm choosing not to talk about that everything i'm saying is like false like fuck you like you're a dumbass okay like not you not my friends and my subscribers and stuff, but like the people on Twitter like freaking out over the maladaptive daydreaming, the maladaptive daydreaming thing. And whatever, that's enough. Okay. The topic that somebody sent me to talk about really quick is ghosting within like friendships and like people that you're dating. So right off the bat, I've ghosted many people. I don't feel bad about it because if I feel the need to ghost you, it's because I either A, didn't feel safe with you. This is in friendships and part in uh, relationships. I either A, didn't feel safe with you or I just didn't, you just weren't gonna listen to me. I was saying like, I'm a very, I communicate when something is upsetting me. And so if I'm constantly communicating and I'm being ignored or dismissed or disrespected, I'm just actually going to ignore you for the rest of your life. That's called ghosting. Um, and I don't feel bad about it and I don't really care. And I don't think that people, not everybody should be ghosted. Like if you feel like you can have a conversation. Okay, here's the thing with ghosting. It's just, it's only for weird people. It's only for the weirdos who can't take no for an answer or who don't listen to you and don't respect you. Because in my opinion, I don't know if it's controversial, but sometimes being the bigger person is just 
ignoring okay exactly though wait sometimes being the bigger person is just ignoring the asshole or like that person or the situation so exactly so it ghosts them and ignore them for the rest of their life okay because for me i don't just like ghost people willing like willy-nilly over anything like for me to ghost you you have to had repeatedly done something wrong after i've told you a million times a million times to like stop or you have done something once that's like really fucking bad and I have to ghost you or you're just like I can see that like it's like kind of like when you realize that your new friend like is just like a terrible fucking person like ghost I don't care like you're a bad person so why would I care how you feel if you're a bad person is that like so bad like sometimes the being the bigger person is just making them feel how you felt sorry like sometimes being the bigger person is just completely cutting people off like i don't know like being the bigger person can look like a lot of things to be honest it can look like clapping back it could look like telling someone off it just really depends on the situation but i think ghosting there are appropriate times to ghost and appropriate situations to ghost where I wouldn't feel guilty about it. I'll tell you a couple times maybe. One time I was trying to break up with this guy like repeatedly and he kept saying no. So I ghosted him because you're not gonna say no. No, you're not. You're not gonna say no when I wanna break up with you because you don't really like get a say. Like I don't wanna be with you. I don't wanna be with you. And the same would happen. Like if he didn't wanna be with me, I couldn't say no like no you're not breaking up with me do you know how insane that is i would just be like okay like i mean depending on like if i cared about the guy or whatever the situation or why we're breaking up but like i would just cry about it and move on like i you can't say no so i ghosted him anyways his name was pierce and okay we're not gonna go into like why so that was one person that i ghosted we were also long distance so it's like I'm trying to break up with you you're saying no i'm telling you that i'm breaking up with you i'm telling you i'm not asking you if we can break up i'm telling you i'm informing you that we're broken up and you're saying no on my half we're broken up you're being a fool no like is that not crazy you can't say no when someone's trying to break up with you um especially if it's not like obviously we weren't married or like there was nothing to talk out like sometimes there's just nothing to talk about like there's just nothing to fix and sometimes people ghost people also because they don't want to fix the relationship and like a lot of every single person that i've ever ghosted i don't care about the relationship and i don't want to fix the relationship oh it's just like a seam oh because this is the back okay that's fine um but yeah but also if they're a good person and you like okay there was a girl who okay i'll tell a ghosting one and then a positive one there was a girl that i ghosted i won't go too into detail because she's online too and she's kind of crazy and i just don't feel like getting into like that weird world anymore um i had they were like internet friends and then we finally met in real life because we lived in the same place and then she was like cool for like a little bit and then a couple months goes by and she's just like fucking ragging like fucking what is it called like dogging just insulting these stranger girls up the ass like that's not a weird like girls that she had never even talked to girls that she had never even met she started calling her this ugly fucking bitch like ew she's so ugly like da 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 da, -da. like talking shit on these girls that like she's never even met because like something having to do with her ex I'm not gonna go into it because like I said, she's crazy and with my luck, she'll watch this and she'll be like So something having to do with her ex. So I was just like, honestly I don't know. We're new, new, we're new friends So I don't really care that much and like I do care about you but if you're gonna like show bad character at your big age, I think we were like 24 at the time 25 24 
ish then I just don't want to be around that like I don't want to be around a woman that insults women that they've never literally fucking met or talked to before just because like you think she's ugly or you think she's pretty like your man didn't think that she was ugly did he so it's just like I mean they were both shitty I'm not saying like I'm not taking the man's side never 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 he kind of like drove her to that also I'm not gonna like I'm getting way too into it I like we were all just immature at that point but it's like you still shouldn't just like talk shit on women like that I don't know I understand talking shit and venting about shitty people doing shitty things to you and like whatever like go for it I will talk about shitty people all day to you and we'll laugh about them fuck them but if it's just like some innocent person that like hasn't even met you doesn't even know who you are like that's fucked up and that's weird so I was just like, no, like that's a character flaw. I don't think that people, there's little things in people that never change, that can change, but never change, if that makes sense. Often people with those little character flaws, cause they are very minuscule, but they mean a lot to the general public or to me anyways like little things little minuscule things like character flaws are often not that little like just because it's like little in hindsight like oh she's just talking shit about some girl she doesn't know yeah she's talking shit about some girl she doesn't know and that's weird and it's crazy because this person was always like the one thinking that people were always talking shit about her like me and the other friend in our group that we had but like we were never talking shit about her it was just like wait i think i just figured her out like i think i just analyzed her in my head and now i kind of like realize why she acts like that still not okay but we're not gonna talk about her anymore oh my god oh my god that was too much i'm still gonna keep it in though because it wasn't that much but it's too much okay anyways so the positive thing is i was talking to this girl and we were also like we were also like new friends and i also met her online i'm kind of done meeting people online until I move it's just this town I think maybe it's kind of this town is weird but I don't know um but yeah just maybe internet people I don't know I think it's just this town like I hate this town it's all washed up and all my friends don't give a fuck do you guys remember that was like a throwback if you remember that song I feel like you're definitely over the age of 25 um anyways maybe it's the town but i met this girl she came over she was cool everything was fine she didn't do anything weird to me she didn't talk shit about other girls she was actually like the nicest person ever but our energies just did not mesh and i told her that like i didn't ghost her because she's a nice person so i was just like hey girl like after she left i was like hey girl like it's painful for me to do communication is painful sometimes but I don't want to ghost a good person and have them thinking that they're a bad person or like I don't want to ghost a good person because like sometimes we're friends and we don't get along not because you're a bad person but because you're not the person for me and that doesn't mean you're a bad person that just means we're not each other's people like where our personalities don't mesh like and that's completely fine well that's basically what I said I like sent her this paragraph and I was like I just want you to know that it's not you like I just it's not really any of us. I said something like that, like it's not you, it's not me. It's just our personalities just don't mesh. I wasn't annoyed with you at all. Like I just really wanted to give her like, I wanted to like affirm and confirm for her that it wasn't her. It was genuinely just our personalities, but I didn't want it to sound like your personality sucks, bitch. I didn't want it to sound like that. So I kind of like, you like kind of have to like elaborate a lot and over explain, unfortunately, which I fucking hate doing but you kind of have to do that if you're trying to do like a friendship breakup and you're trying to talk to them about it. And she actually took it really well. And she was like, you know what? Like I was thinking that too, like da 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 da. Cause she was just like a one type of personality that I usually don't get along with, but I tried it and I didn't get along with it. So you know what I'm saying? Like the personality, I'm not calling her an it, it, the personality, but it's just like, it's okay like I wish the world was more I don't know if you would say like normal like I just wish it was normal to say that to people and not be the fucking villain like she didn't make me the villain we just parted ways and then we never spoke again and then we just like honestly unfollowed each other 
on all social medias because we didn't want to be friends or keep up with each other after that and that's totally fine no hard feelings i don't give a fuck she doesn't give a fuck like we were new friends and whatever like literally whatever you know and more people need to be like that because i'm not gonna like keep a friendship just to keep a friendship just to like have someone there or like just to have someone to hang out with just to hang out with like i want to thoroughly trust you and like enjoy your company and i want you to like vice versa like we have to actually be meant to be together platonically and yeah even like relationship wise too um like romantically okay i feel like i talked for a really long time i'm gonna do an update on my dog there he is he has to keep the cone on for about three to four more days one basically he got foxtails I'm trying to block the light he got foxtails in both of his eyes don't really know how it happened um we've already cleaned the yard up as best as we could like everything's just really the same fucking color so we did as much as we could this never happened before he had to get eye surgery really unexpectedly he went under obviously they pulled the foxtails out of his eyes one eye is completely fine the other eye has to have eye drops and we're giving him like a benadryl for like two more days just to calm him and they didn't really give him pain medication which kind of pissed me off but it's fine it's not fine it's not fine because you just pulled something very sharp out of both of his eyes where's where's my man's pain pain where is my man's pain medications where are they or maybe i'm just not i'm not a vet so maybe i just don't understand but he is very sad mopey he obviously fucking hates the cone but he has to have it um just goo goopy gross shit coming out of his eye all the time he's sad he's not playing with his toys but he is eating pooping drinking and he gets excited for treats so he's slowly coming back to himself it was so expensive i love when like <laughs> i love when the vet is like is that okay like it's like this much money for this surgery is that okay like girl it has to be okay doesn't it or my dog's gonna die like it has to be okay stop asking me if it's okay i get why they're asking i'm just joking but like at the same time it's like goddamn like it has to be okay otherwise he's just gonna suffer so yeah it's just been very stressed couple of days and like when he was because they obviously put him under so he had anesthesia and he just when it was wearing off when he was home he just like was not doing good for like two days and it really freaked me out and i felt so bad like i just it's kids and animals getting hurt just fucking kills me because they don't understand like they don't understand why they're feeling the way they feel. They don't understand like how they even got hurt. They don't understand. And you can't tell them. I mean like little, little kids, not like a 12 year old that you can tell them and they get it. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like he's like mentally five probably. So it's just, he has no idea about anything. Like not a freaking single thought in his mind. And he just thinks that like he's hurting for no reason. And I think that's why it gets me because like if I were to get hurt, I would know like I did this this is what happened this is why they don't know a damn thing so it's just it's fucked up um and he's also oh when the anesthesia was wearing off the first and second day he was just like afraid to go outside potty on his own and I think it's because his cone kept like hitting the door and so it would like scare him but even though I like tried to like guide his cone through the door like stand in front of like i've tried at everything like even like put a pillow there so it would like soften the sound because he doesn't like loud noises he's a little baby so it was just like loud to him i think anyways and so he just would not go outside and it was like 8 p.m at night at that point and so i was like fuck like i'm like texting my man and i'm like you need to come home right now he's like freaking out i'm like fucking sobbing because i didn't know he was shaking literally cream screaming ew screaming crying almost throwing up he literally shit himself because he wouldn't go outside which like is not his fault um i think it's like has to do with the anesthesia so he shit himself in the kitchen he shit himself in the living room um just like randomly which is like so unlike him so that's kind of how we knew like it's just it's got to be like the medic the, the drugs 
like that are, is wearing off and he was just like shaking like like shaking so bad like I literally thought that he was like having I don't know like some kind of episode turns out he was just afraid to go outside but he was stressed out because he needed to shit so after he pooped inside everything was fine so I think yeah and he's going he's better now he's like going outside and like by himself and like all that and I'm still having to guide his cone through doorways or like stand like to block one side of the doorway so if it if the cone hits anything it'll hit me so it's not like loud you know what I mean because it's like skin I don't know why I'm explaining all this to you but yeah he's just been a, he's a mama's boy anyways and he follows me around like my literal shadow anyways but when he's feeling sick, he's like even more so a little mama's boy, a little shadow man. So I love that part, but I just, do you know that saying where it's like, as a mom or even like a pet parent, whatever, like you're only as happiest as like your saddest child or something like that. I don't know if that's the exact quote. Like you're only as happy as you're happy. I don't know, does that make sense? Okay, but that's the update with him. He's completely fine, um, except he might lose a little bit of sight in the bad eye, but we kind of like were already prepared for like a one-eyed dog because his eye was like really bad. And then when we found out that he needed surgery on the eye, we were like, fuck, like, and then just like how the eye looked, like it's so bad. It's a lot better now because the eye drops and I'm like cleaning it and stuff. But before, it was just so bad. Like before the surgery, it was so bad. So we were kind of like already expecting a one-eyed dog or like a blind dog. Um, obviously we would keep him, duh. We're not fucking brainless monsters basically. Like I'm not gonna like get rid of my dog because he has three legs or like, because, you know what I'm saying? Like he's mine until he dies. Like he's with us for life. So, and when he dies, I'm gonna fucking make an altar, put his hair up there, his little bone, and I'm gonna bug him. I'm gonna bug him in the afterlife. Yes, I am. And he's gonna love it. Yes, he is. Okay. Are you okay? He's very drowsy, very sad. You, you already know the vibes. So, you already know the vibes. I hated that. Why did I say that? Yeah, that's the update with my dog. I'm just best case scenario he's alive and well um the first day after he came home from surgery was like kind of the worst i feel like that's kind of the case for a lot of things like that but now he's like slowly like getting interested in toys it's just hard for him to play with toys because the toys that he likes to play with are bigger than his cone so he tries to pick up a toy or like one of these bone things and he can't grip it with his hands and just like grip it how he usually grips it so then he gets sad and discouraged and then he goes and lays down and it's honestly heartbreaking but it's good that he's like excited for treats if he wasn't eating if he wasn't like shitting or doing all like the normal bodily things then i would be a little bit more worried but i'm just glad that he's home he's safe he's getting more comfortable as the time goes on and yeah and we're still taking him on walks just shorter ones because his medication makes him a little bit just not as high energy and I imagine another reason why he's not high energy is because one obviously his eye is uncomfortable and obviously like I feel like if you have a cone you you don't really want to like jump around I don't know but yeah okay thank you for watching this video I not every video is going to be like a ranting video but just know that like you guys are my besties and this is like my video diary so i tell you guys like my thoughts that i wouldn't necessarily like tweet because it's like more long-formed content does that make sense so i just don't want you to think like damn like this bitch literally just comes on here to bitch and she leaves like i don't know i just feel like that's how it sounds sometimes but to me it feels like it doesn't feel like i'm coming on here to bitch it feels like i'm facetiming one of my best friends or a thousand something of my best friends and yeah so this is kind of like how I would talk to my friends 
a little bit more censored because I don't want to like make I just don't want to like act too crazy on here but sometimes people just drive me fucking crazy okay I love you I love you I promise not every vlog is gonna be like a ranting vlog it's just we're facetiming so I don't know like I don't know okay I love you